for tonight's performance. My name is Katie Furr, and I have the pleasure of serving as PCA's head of school. Like you, I'm excited to be tossed overboard to a magical underwater world through the passion and talent that God has given many of our students. The months of hard work and sacrifice to pull off this show do not go unnoticed, and on behalf of everyone on campus, we thank you. We pray that this event blesses you this evening. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Daniel Harms, this year's community di director, to the stage for a few reminders before we begin the show. Daniel? Hi, everyone. You like my jacket? Thanks. I bought it just for this. <laughs> Tough crowd. Just a few reminders, please do not use your cell phone during the show. Flash photography and videotaping, strictly prohibited due to copyright laws. I do want to warn you, we use strobe lights during the show, we use a lot of fog, and we use the aisles quite a bit, so please do not move about during the show. We will have one 15-minute intermission. That's when you can get up, use the restroom, buy um, concessions. I think that's it. That's all. Enjoy the show. surrounded by nothing but water and imagination. Oh yes, it's simply delightful. The salt in your skin and the wind in your hair and the waves, they ebb and they flow. We're miles from shore and guess what? I don't care! As for me, I'm about to heave ho. What is that? Do you hear something? My lord, please, enough seafaring. This talk of her people in the king of the sea is nautical nonsense. There it is again. Straight ahead. Your majesty, you've got to return to the court to take up your father's crown. That's not the life for me, Grinsby. Now follow that voice. To the ends of the earth we have to. Aye, aye, captain. There's mermaids out there in the bottom is blue and it's hay to the starboard evil. Watch out for a ladder, or you'll go to your ruin mysterious fathom below. Welcome. 
It's wonderful to see all here. Ever since the Steve Jobs, our dear queen, celebrating to have like this, have lifted my spirits. Thank you. Introducing our court composer, Horatio Thelonious Ignatius Castratus, Sebastian. Oh, sire, you're going to love this number. I wrote it for my star people. And may who that be? Your youngest. Such a voice, that child. Notes as clear as ice. Pitch as pure as water. Why, I haven't heard such a magnificent sound since the queen. May she rest in peace. You're going to be so proud. If only that girl would show up for rehearsal once in a while. What are we waiting for? Will the festivity begin? <laughs> Girl! Just look, Flounder, the sun, the sand. Isn't it the most beautiful place you've ever seen? I don't know, Ariel. I'm not sure we ought to be up here. Don't be such a guppy. A guppy? I am not. I'm not afraid of anything. I'm just afraid of you. What about sharks? <laughs> oh, Flounder, you really are a guppy. I am not. Aw, you'll never guess what I found today. Look, have you ever seen anything so... Wonderful in your entire life? Wow! Cool! What is it? I don't know. But I bet Scuttle will. Come on, I'll race you. Of human stuff, and we are the authority. No need for us to bluff. 
Because we're great at explaining human stuff. What's that? A scarf flag. Wow. When they invented scarf flags just by chance, suddenly life was like stuff. Scarf flags are what you use to make folks dance. Give it a blow and then, voila! Wonderful stuff. That human stuff. Can't give it up. A human stuff. It's marvelous, dependable, completely A O J. Which sounds absurd, but take my word, that's what the humans say. Wonderful stuff. That human stuff. None of it fluffs. Not human stuff. And heaven knows since we're the bros from us, you'll get no guff. Cause once you've got a who's a magic, a thing I'm a what? Oh, what's a magic? That's all you need to bring you up to stuff. Right up to stuff. With proper dingle, hopper, groom, and rest assured, you'll look real human. We know, cause we know human Kid, and I ain't just blowing smoke. This thing makes music the likes of which you've never heard. Music? Oh no, the concert. My father's gonna kill me. I completely forgot. Come on, Flounder. Thank you, Scuttle. Anytime, sweet. Anytime. O oh, sorceress of the sea, O oh, beauty of the bride, hail, hail to the sea witch, hail to Ursula. Blossom, my pet, Jetsam, my darling, come to me, my little sea spies. Mama's feeling woebegone, banished to the nether regions of the sea. No food, hardly any company. I'm simply wasting away. Poor Ursula. Yes, poor me. What news do you have? King Triton and the Merfolk are celebrating your defeat. And he blames you for the Queen's demise. Of course he does. Use a little black magic to help out a few Merfolk, and this is the thanks I get. Well, now it's time to turn the tides on Triton. We just need to find his Achilles heel, a weakness that will crack his armor. The king is terribly devoted to his daughters, especially the youngest with the beautiful voice. But she missed the celebration. Hmm. Apparently, Ariel takes her gift for granted, just like her mother did. A woman doesn't know how precious her voice is until she's been silenced. Silenced! You two find out what that girl really wants and then lure her here to my lair. I'll whip up a little spell to make all her dreams come true. Triton will rush to her rescue. And then, my dears, yes. the trident, crown, and throne will all be mine! <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, forgive me. I'm so sorry. I just forgot. Ariel, as a result of your careless behavior. Careless and reckless behavior. The entire celebration was. Ruined. Completely destroyed. That concert was going to be the pinnacle of my distinguished career. Sebastian. But I didn't mean to. Ariel, listen. You've been given a gift. Your mother's voice. It's a wondrous talent that demands stewardship and care. So please return it. For sake of her memory. I know, Daddy. I know. Human stuff? You and up the surface? Um, nothing happened. Couldn't see more barbarians. Daddy, they're not barbarians. Nets harpoons? You're my youngest. And I'm old enough to look after myself. As long as you live on my reef, you obey my rules. If you would just listen to me for once. That's the last time I go to service. Understood? You're so unfair! 
Ah, she's still writing the barnacle. <sighs> Teenagers, give them an inch and they swim all over you. I can give them my own kingdom, but I can't get my own daughter. Maybe that's too harsh. Nonsense. If you ask me, you haven't been tough enough. I haven't? Ariel needs constant supervision to someone to watch over her and to keep her out of trouble. You know, that's not such a bad idea. I'd say it's a right good one. And you're just a crap to do it. What? Hear me, from now on, you're, it's your responsibility. But, but she's a clever mermaid. I'm just a crustacean. Surely you ought to pick someone higher on the evolutionary ladder. If only I could make my father understand. I just don't see how a world that makes such wonderful things could be so bad. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want thingamabob? I've got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing, walking around on those, what do you call them? Oh, feet. Flipping your fins, you don't get too far. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling along down that. What's that word again? Street. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun. Wondering free, wish I could be part of that world. What would I give? If I could live out of these waters, what would I pay to spend a day warm on the sand? Betcha on land, they understand. Bet they don't reprimand their daughters. Bright young women, sick of swimming, ready to stand. And ready to what the people know. Ask them my questions and get some answers. What's the fire and why does it, what's the word? Burn, when did my turn? Wouldn't I love, love to explore the shore of the bird? Out of the sea. Wish I could be part of that world. Sick of swimming out of the sea. Tell me, child, you got trouble in the mind? Sebastian. What is all this? Um, just a few knickknacks I've collected. That's all. Why, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. If your poor father knew about, about this place, he'd... You're not going to tell him, are you? Oh, please, Sebastian, he would never understand. Ariel, down here is your home. The, hum the human world, it's a mess. Life under the sea is better than anything they got up there. The seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things surround you. What more is you looking for? Under the sea, under the sea. Darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Shh. Up on the shore they work all day Out in the sun they slave away 
while we devoted full time to floating under the sea. Down here all the fish is happy as all through the waves they roll. The fish on the land ain't happy, they sad cause they in the bowl. But fish in the bowl is lucky, they in for a what's the fate. One day when the boss get hungry, gets her only on their plate. Uh oh, under the sea, under the sea. Under the sea. Nobody beat us, fry us and eat us in a free car sea. We was the land folks like we under the sea. We The flute, the carp play, the harp, the clay play, the bass, and they sound sharp. The fast play, the brass, the chuck play, the tub, the flute, and the duke of soul. The ray, he can play the links on the strings. The shout, rocking out the black fish, he sings the snow and the sprouts. They know where it's at, and all that blowfish blow. Look, a ship! Under the sea, under the sea, under the sea. Under the sea. When the sardines begin to begin, it's music to me. It's music to me. What do they got? A lot of sand. We got a hot crustacean band. Each little snail here oh. knows how to a pit. That's why it's hotter under the water. Yeah, we in love. Don't ever fuck here under the I'm talking about. Ariel, hello. Somebody's got to nail that girl's fins to the floor. Now, suppose I don't want to be king. I swore an oath to your dear father on his deathbed that I turned you from a roustabout into a royal uh -huh. and have you married to a princess by your next birthday, which is now just three days away. Did you ever try to take a princess sailing? It's a joke. Their dresses get caught in the rigging, and most of them can't even swim. You know there is more to a princess than her flutter kicks. This kingdom needs a queen. Where am I going to find her, Grimsby? A girl that's carefree and alive to the sea itself? Where? Wow. It's too much to ask for, isn't it? A girl that's a match for a guy like me? Perhaps you're not looking hard enough. I've never seen a human this close before. Me neither! Shh! I thought you were an expert. And their stuff, sure. But the sight of them, yikes. Hideous, saying it? I don't know, Scuttle. I think he's really handsome. Trust me, Grimsby. When I see the girl in my dreams, it'll hit me like lightning. Hurricane to come in, Captain. King Triton must be angry indeed. Bend the hatches! Then everyone below deck! And quickly! Whoa! The wind's really on the move here! Careful, Scuttle! Ariel! The ship's listening badly. Oh, good heavens! Bend the hatches! Eric, take the wheel!
Was I too late? It's hard to tell. Oh. Oh. I can't make out a heartbeat. <laughs> no, look. He's breathing. Oh, Scuttle, just look at him. He's so beautiful. What would I give to live where you are? What would I pay to stay here beside you? What would I do to see you smiling at me? Somebody, anybody. Quick, on your way, kid, before we're discovered. Oh, Prince Eric, shoo, shoo get away, you filthy bird. Ah! Uh, Curl, rescue me. She pulled me right from the surf, and she was singing. Careful, you took a terrible tumble, my boy. That voice, I can't get it out of my head. Look, a good night of rest, and you'll be good as new. No, I must go back and thank her for saving my life. You've heard too many tall tales, my boy. No, she was real. Of course she was, like a mermaid on the rocks. Prince Eric. I don't know when, I don't know how, but I know something's starting right now. Watch and you'll see. Someday I'll be Gosh, I wish we had a clue. Oh, wait. She's in love. She's in love. Pounding hearts. Ringing bells. <coughs> She's in You mean Ariel? I'll say. She acts like she don't see me. She doesn't even speak. She treats me like she's she me. That's over from last week. You see her late at night, tossing in her ocean bed. And she sighs and she swoons and she's humming little tunes. Even has a sort of glow. What on earth could it be? Any hammer head can see. That glow. Oh no, she's in love. She's in love. She's in love. See her hips, how they swish. She's in love. She's in love. See her blush. See her green. Ariel and someone. Women in the sea, K I S S I N G.
In love? My little Ariel? So that explains it. Just a minute there, Flounder. Who, me? You know Ariel just as well as anybody. Who's the lucky merman? Gee, I don't know. I didn't even know it was love until the second chorus. Sebastian, any ideas? I tried to tell her, Sire, but she doesn't listen. I tell her, Ariel, you've got to stay away from those humans. They're nothing but trouble. Humans? What about humans? Humans? Who said anything about humans? Sebastian, have you any secret secrets for me? Where is that girl? And now, let me see. What did Scuttle call this one? Was it a uh, Diddy Wumper? Or a uh, Thumb Doodle? Well, whatever it is. Prince Eric held it in his own strong, beautiful human hands. Ariel, what is all this? Daddy, they're my... Human junk! No, treasures! Did you save a human from drowning? He would have died. That's how Bruce could have killed you, and it's my job to keep you safe from harm. But he didn't frighten me. He made me feel wonderful. Besides, I'm not a child anymore. No? We're certainly acting like one. He's a m human, and you're a mermaid. It doesn't matter. You don't understand. I wish Mother were here. Errol, listen. I wish your mother was here just as much as anybody, but I am still king, and you will never go up to service ever again. Do I make myself clear? <laughs> I'm just trying to protect her, Sebastian. She'll be all right. She just give her some time. I hate him! Ariel, don't say that. And some friend you turned out to be, spilling everything. I couldn't help it. He had my claws in a clam. I don't need you. I don't need any of you. Go away. I said go away. I don't belong here. If only I could be up there. Poor sweet Miss Andres, the child. She has a very serious problem, hasn't she? Who will ease her woes and worries? Who will help her get her man? Perhaps the sea witch can. Who are... How did you... She's been dying to help you. Ursula? Help me? Oh, yes. But she can't leave her lair. Then take me to her. Of, of course. course. Ariel? Ariel, where'd you go? Oh no, Sebastian! Mistress of the deep, you've a visitor. I don't know it. Now, now. Mustn't get cold to them. Don't be shy, Ariel, darling. Uh, I shouldn't be here. Mother died because of you. Oh, child, what happened to your dear mother was a terrible, unfortunate accident. Poor soul. An accident? Of course. I did my very best to save her. You did? But father told me... The truth is that the ocean wasn't big enough for both your father and me, so he sent me here. And now I see he's driven you away, too. He doesn't understand me. Oh, but I do, Dumpling. We're so very alike, you and I. Gals with ambition. Now tell me absolutely everything. I'm in love with someone. A human. <gasps> a prince, I hear. Quite a catch. Well, the answer is simple. You've got to become human yourself. Can you do that? My dear sweet child, it's what I live for, to help unfortunate merfolk like yourself. Poor souls with no one else to turn to. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They were 
just kidding when they called me, well, a witch. But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways. Repented, seen the light, and made a switch. True? Yes. And I fortunately know a little magic. It's a talent that I always have possessed. And here lately, please don't laugh. I use it on behalf of the miserable, lonely, and depressed. Pathetic, poor, unfortunate souls in pain, in need. This one longing to be thinner. That one wants to kiss a girl. And do I help them? Yes, indeed. Those poor, unfortunate souls. So sad. So true. They come blocking to my cauldron, crying, Smell, there's still a please. And I help them? Yes, I do. Now it's happened once or twice. Someone couldn't pay the price. And I'm afraid I had to rake them across the coals. Yes, I've had the odd complaint. But on the whole, I've been a saint to those poor, unfortunate souls. I have a spell that will turn you into a human for three days. Before the sun sets on the third day, you've got to get dear old Princey to kiss you. If you do, you will stay human forever. And if I don't? You will turn back into a mermaid and your soul will be mine forever. Life's full of tough choices, isn't it? Of course, there is one more thing. My fee. But I don't have any. I'm not asking for much. Only your voice. But if I give away my voice, how can I ever? You have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the importance of body language. Come on, you poor unfortunate soul. Go ahead, make your choice. I'm a very busy woman and I haven't got all day. It won't cost much, just your voice. You poor unfortunate soul. It's sad, but true. If you want to cross a bridge, my sweet, you've got to pay the toll. Take a gulp and take a breath and go ahead, achieve your goal. Flotsam, jetsam, now I've got her, boy. The boss is on a roll. You poor unfortunate soul. So how's about it, Cupcake? If I become human, Will I ever see my family again? My sisters, daddy? Now do you want Princey Poo or not? Five, four, three, two. Yes, yes, I'll do it. That's a girl. Now. Beluga Sabruga come winds of the Caspian Sea. Larynxus Thosidus at Max Laryngitis. Voce to me. Now sing! Sing your voice over to me! Ariel, 
are you okay? Oh, child. What have you done? Well, look who got beached. Hiya, Ariel. Wait, there's something different about you. It's your hair, you ain't it? You've been using the jingle hopper. No. Well, I can't quite put my foot on it right now. She's got legs, you idiot. Ariel traded her voice to the sea witch to become human. Not it. Not your beautiful pipe. You see, not a sound. What would her father say? I'll tell you what her father would say. He'd say he's going to kill himself a crab. That's what he's going to say. And now she's got three days to make the prince fall in love with her. And to prove that, he's got to kiss her. The prince? Well, I'll say... Hey, what if we got... Shoo! Shoo! Run! Are you all right, miss? You... You seem very familiar. Of course, it's you! I've been looking for you everywhere. What's your name? Sore throat, huh? Oh, you don't speak at all. Oh, I'm sorry. For a moment, I thought you were somebody else. What is it? You're in trouble? No, you're hurt? Well, I've got just the remedy. A warm bath and a hot meal. Come on, the palace isn't long from here. Way to go, Ariel. Now that's what I call reeling them in. Oh, now I've got to follow her. This is going to get me in some really hot water. Can you believe that, girl? What a crab. <laughs> Attention, attention, le menu pour ce soir. Escargot, lobster bis, tuna tata, holy mackerel. Maintenant! Over the wall, under the gutter, in through the window. The things I do for that girl. Now, finally, someplace that's safe. Uh oh. Les poissons, les poissons, how I love les poissons. Love to chop, to serve little fish. First I cut off their heads and I pull out their bones on me, oui, ça c'est toujours delish. Les poissons, les poissons, hee 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 ha ha ha. Bit but I hack them in two. I pull out what's inside and I serve it up right. God, I love little fishes, don't you? Here's something for tempting the palate. Prepared in the classic technique. First you pound the fish flat with a mallet. Then you cut through the skin, give the belly a slice, then you rub some salt in. Call that medicine's noise. Le poisson, le poisson, la la, they are, they bon jeu to our friends from the sea. Fish filet, fish pate, fish flambe, fish tata, it's a fish, how you say, jambari. Cut it fast, keep it smelt, fish kebab, tuna melt. If it's killed, we grill to a tea. Fish like the roasted and toasted and steamed. Tossed in the blender and tenderly creamed. Dish after dish like you wish to have drinks. Such a law, I have missed one.
imagine washing up like that. Must have been a horrible shipwreck. I don't suppose, Ruth, why you can't speak? Well, anyways, after you scrub in the tub and you're fresh as a daisy, we'll have you dressed up in a beautiful new frock. Well, now I'm the one who's speechless. I must say, it has been such a long time since I've dined with company of such loveliness. Usually it's just me and Grimm. He has to look across the table at my ugly face. I will say, that bath certainly has worked its wonders. A uh, mystery guest groom for a groom, you might say. Easy, old boy, easy. She has no voice. Oh. Oh, dear. My, isn't that unusual? Oh, thank you. Oh, don't tell me she's fond of pipes. I can't say that I blame you. It's an antique from Dusseldorf. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, old friend. It looks like your pipe smoked you. Yes, well, at least somebody's nose has to make you smile. Come along, Grimsby. Let's leave the young ones alone for a bit. You should see the princesses that Grimsby drags to dinner. So prim, so boring. But you, if you don't mind me asking, what was it? An accident when you were small? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean... Who needs words anyway? A smile says much more sometimes. You're nimble on your feet, aren't you? Well, dancing beats small talk any day. It's the way your legs smile or laugh. It lets you say so many things. Dancing is a language that is felt instead of heard. You can whisper, sing, or shout without so much as a word. Try it, go on, like so. Just let your emotions tell your body what to do. See how much a single gesture can reveal. And every single step, every single step is one step closer to saying what you feel. hear something? Sorry, there's this voice. It's been haunting me. Anyway, I shall let you get some sleep. A good night. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. The things I do for you, young lady. Now I ought to march you right back to your father so you can be miserable the rest of your life. It's true, I got no backbone. All right, kid, I'm in. But we have got to get that boy to kiss you before it's too late. Now, a few tips from a clever crab to a little mermaid. You've got to pucker your lips like this. And you've got to bat your eyes like this. That's good. Put those two things together tomorrow and you'll have that boy in the palm of your hand. ever dare to join me out here. Too afraid they muddy their shoes, but not you. Peaceful out here, isn't it? Nothing for miles and miles. I know what's happening. Nothing is happening. Shh. They spent all morning on horseback and then an afternoon picnic. And now this, and not so much as a peck on the cheek. Oh no, but there's only one day left. So, how's this weather? 
We've got to do something, and quick. But what? This could be our last chance. we got to create the right kind of mood. You mean like candlelight and champagne? Nonsense. It don't take all that. Everything we need, we got right here. Percussion. Stream. Wind. Word. There you see her sitting there across the way. Sha -la -la. She don't got a lot to say, but there's something about her. About her. And you don't know why, but you're dying to try. You wanna kiss the girl. Yes, you want her. Look at her, you know you do. Possible she wants you to. There is one way to ask her. Kiss her. It'll take a word, not a single word. Go on and kiss the girl. Sing with me now. Sha la 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 Maybe I could guess? Alexandra? Annabelle? Beatrice? Ariel. Her name is Ariel. Ariel? Hey, that's kind of pretty. Okay, Ariel. Sha la 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 la, blow it alone and listen to the song. The song say, kiss the girl. Sha la 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 la, music. Say, you gotta kiss the girl. You gotta kiss the girl. Go on and kiss the girl. You gotta kiss the girl. Oh, go on and kiss the What was that? Ariel, are you all right? Well, we have to head back anyway. Got to rest up for my birthday tomorrow. Oh, Grimsby's throwing a ball to help me find the girl with that voice. He wants to be married by sunset, or else. Oh, Ariel, dearest, I can't believe you've been with us for three whole days. It's been such a treat. Well, princesses are arriving to sing for Prince Eric, so he can finally choose his bride. 
You can just stand back here with Carlotta while the royalty mingles. It's sure to be quite a show. Welcome to friends to our contest. The first that our kingdom has ever seen. We gather today for a vocal display. So at last, our prince may choose a queen. These six princesses have the most accomplished voices in all of the land. Tonight, one of you will join Prince Eric on the throne. May the best princess win. Surely one of these voices matches the song to your heart. I wish I could say yes, but I can't. But the sun is about to set, and you must choose a mate. Ariel? Oh, dear one. Oh, for heaven's sake, child. Quiet, Grimsby. Go ahead, Ariel. I had so hoped, Prince Eric, that you might find love in this room. I have, Grimsby. I've just been too blind to see it. Come here, Ariel. What's this? Another contestant. That's the voice. But tell her the competition is over. I've already made my choice. Ariel, I, I haven't seen you in three days, and I'm worried. Ariel, I've, I've come to apologize. Most merciful, Triton. Sebastian, where is Ariel? Oh, she'd be so angry if she knew I was here. You mean I trusted my youngest daughter to you? And what happened? She disappears. I ought to have you cracked and shelled. What kind of tragedy will it take? A tragedy involving the sea witch. What? Ariel traded her voice to the sea witch to become human. She means she brought away her own voice? To become a human? Yes, and now the child has given up her very soul. Oh, Ariel, what have you done? Come, we must go save my daughter. done to my daughter? Nothing. She's done it all to herself, trading her voice away. And for what? Human heartbreak. Give her back to me. Not on your life. It so happens that your daughter made a bargain. No. Swapped her voice to land a man up where it's dry. Is it binding? Goodness, yes. Unbreakable? Unless. Unless? There is a little something we could try. Go on. Yes. Perhaps we could arrange a sort of trade-off. Maybe swap your daughter's soul for, say, your own. What? Make this deal and set her free. Or else she comes with me. 
to suffer through eternity alone. It's not my soul you're after, it's my power. Now, which would you rather be? The king of the sea or a father to his little girl? The trying to great responsibility, Ursula. Nonsense, trite one. Hand it over. Finally, the oceans belong to me. And now you poor unfortunate soul, time's up, you're put through. Now the power of Poseidon has been once again made whole. All the magic of the Triton and the shell in my control. And now dark shall reign forever over ocean, sea, and shoal. Now see for yourself how banishment feels. You poor unfortunate. Who are you? And what have you done with Ariel? Careful, Princey Poo. The water's looking awfully choppy. Beware, monster. King Triton rules over these seas. Not anymore. I will not let you harm her. Ha! Captain, we need to turn back or she'll pull us under. Look out! The shell! You fool! <laughs> not so fast, up. Get the shell! There's my father's trite, but you'll never have his power. Impertinent mermaid, I'll dispose of you just as easily as I eliminated your mother. So father was right. Yes, father was right. And you'll soon see just how insignificant the merfolk become when Ursula's in charge. With trident and hips, I shall unleash the power of Poseidon to destroy you all. Oh, oh dear. Oh, it's too cold. friends a girl could wish for. Daddy, I've caused so much trouble. Can you ever forgive me? Why, i never been prouder. Somehow in a blink of an eye, my back was turned. You grew up. You love him very much, don't you? To his run now. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much. Just remember, when you hear the surf roar at night and feel the tingling cell in the air, this is your dad checking on the little girl. Ariel! Who are you? I'm King Triton, and you're the human who came to our rescue. Well, with all, due, with all due respect, sir, Ariel did most of the rescuing. Wait, you're Triton, the king of the sea, and she's your daughter? Does that upset you? Oh, heavens no. I'm just glad she's royalty. Your Majesty. I finally found someone that makes me eager to seize my future and claim my birthright as king. But if I ever slip into the sea sometime, I hope she'll be there right beside me. May I have her hand? Ariel! Ariel can speak for herself. She can? What would I give to live where you are? What would I pay to stay here beside you? What would I do to see you? 
smiling at me. It was your voice all along. Now they can walk. Now they can run. Now they can stay all day in the sun. Just you and me. Thank you.